How's it going agents? Welcome back to another Division video. So today we're going to be talking about raids and it seems a lot has been data mined in regards to the first raid, Operation Dark Hours. Now obviously take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. The person that revealed this clearly has been right in the past but that isn't to say that is the case now and this all could be baloney. So again take it with a grain of salt. Nothing here is confirmed. But if you don't want to know anything, then this video pretty much isn't for you. So my advice would be to pretty much switch off at this point. But I'm going to give you five seconds. So if you're still here after five seconds, well, then that pretty much means that you want to continue watching this. So if you're still here, good stuff. So Game Rant released an article regarding the leaks and they pretty much went through quite extensively as to what you can expect in the raids. It reads, The raid begins on Arlington Bridge and all 8 players need to make it to the other side alive without using any of the skills in the Division 2. Even though players will apparently be without that major part of their loadouts, enemies will drop items that will boost players' bullet damage against enemies. As raid teams near the end of the bridge, one random player will be marked as hunted. That player will be the only person who can spot the escape route off the bridge. Pretty cool if you ask me, and we'll have to communicate with the rest of the team where to go. I really like this. But that same player will also be the sole focus of every enemy, so it seems that the other seven players will need to protect them as the, inter as the entire team finishes the encounter. So it's pretty cool. One player becomes hunted, they can clearly see the exit point. They're basically guiding the rest of the seven players to that exfiltration point. But, you know, every enemy around you is trying to get to the hunted player in order to kill that player. Because once that player goes down, that pathway becomes obsolete and no longer visible. So it's a really nice mechanic. I really like this. So who knows? Maybe it is real. And if it is real, good stuff. So far, color me impressed. Next, the leaked details say that after clearing the bridge, the 8 player raid team will be split into 2 teams of 4 players and enter a bizarre area. One team will be the watchtower team, and needs to reach a watchtower to the north of the bazaar. Another will be off the grid, and will need to search the bazaar for a stolen GPS. Once the GPS is found, they fire off a flare to the team at the watchtower who will fire off missiles using the coordinates from the GPS. At that point, elites will spawn in and the two teams will need to get out of the area through two different routes and meet at an extraction point outside the area to end the encounter. Again, this is nice, it's splitting the group into two. It's what the division does best for player engagements. So each team will likely have their own trials and tribulations during the split in order to maintain focus and excitement and challenge. And so I can see this section being actually quite difficult considering especially the GPS team has to get the coordinates from the GPS in order for you to start the end of encounter sequence. Until this point, the people at the watchtower would more than likely be continually bombarded with enemies from all angles to actually take them out and stop them from the missile launch. So you're up against it at that point, so it does sound fun. Finally, the raid will conclude at the airport. The raid team will move from the parking lot to an upper level of the parking lot, but along the way, players will be attacked by artillery and attack helicopters. The raid will end on the runway against the main boss and a mini boss of source that accompanies it. According to the leak, Game Rant says, the main boss will deal no damage directly to players, but the mini boss has an ability, if activated, can wipe the entire team instantly. So think of it as Destiny's instant wipe mechanic. The League Division 2 details also say that there will be power play items that will drop randomly from special enemies throughout the course of the raid. These special items will last only a short time and will do special things for players including restocking their ammo, giving infinite recharge of skills, which is awesome considering skills are really really powerful in this game, show hidden stashes, turn hunters against elites and unlock a hidden checkpoint. This is probably the best part because it will probably unlock a raid specific piece of loot. Yes people, I do believe we may actually encounter our first raid specific loot in the division. So this sounds very very promising and exciting and has me the goosebumps of secrets and exploration. Something I haven't had for quite some time so 
Good stuff, Massive, if this is actually true. Because this is actually a really, really nice set of stuff. I really love the way the first, second, and third encounter is set. It is their first foray into raids. Again, take all of this with a grain of salt. Nothing here is confirmed. It is all data mine stuff. And again, the data mine stuff is coming from a source that basically we can't verify. So with that said, take it for what it is. If you're here and still listening and still watching, well, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Do you like the way the first, second, and third encounter sound? What about the hidden checkpoint? Potential raid specific loot? Does this get you excited, itching for more, oozing for more? Is this the type of thing that you want from The Division 2? And if it is, do you want more of it? So, well, let me know in the comment section below how you feel. Well, that's pretty much it for this video, by the way, guys. That's all I wanted to talk about. I read this article today. I thought it was really interesting. I'm going to leave a link to the Game Round article in the description below. There is more to the article, so you can go in and read a bit more if you want to. But that was the general crux of the parts that I wanted to cover. So it seems we've got three encounters. One, you've got to protect the MVP. Two, you split into two groups. And three, you converge on a runway for the final showdown. What more could you ask for? This is pretty much Die Hard in a nutshell, right? Well, thanks for watching, and until the next video, agents, remain legend.